What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are here bringing you guys part one for my brand new playthrough on the channel for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. This might be the most anticipated game of the year, 100% of the year, but probably of the past couple years considering the first game won game of the year and this one is supposed to be even better than that. Super excited to be bringing you guys this playthrough, and just to give you guys a hint, this playthrough is going to be long. This game is absolutely massive, more than double the size of the original Breath of the Wild. So, this playthrough might be over 100 parts, and I'm down to grind it out if you guys are down to watch it. So, if you guys do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on, on it, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button to stay up to date on all of the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom content, considering we're going to be doing a playthrough and guides on pretty much everything. But, without further ado, let's hop into this. And get this playthrough started. Let's get this playthrough started. So my plan here is to have a nice little playthrough for you guys. Again, it's going to be over 100 parts. I don't I don't think there's a doubt in my mind where it's not 100 parts, right? It's going to be big. But for the most part, I want to focus on the story. This is my first time actually playing it. And then I'm going to have a side playthrough on my own off screen of me just grinding. So I can bring you guys guides of like late game stuff and all that good stuff. But for the cutscenes, I'd rather not talk. I'd rather enjoy it myself. Because, again, this is fresh for me. This is totally fresh, and I'm a big fan of The Legend of Zelda. So, let's get started here. Let's get ripping. This game looks so good already. Bro, I, I love Breath of the Wild 1. 10 out of 10, hands down. I'm going to be 100% in this one. Maybe not on playthrough, but on my personal file. This strange gloom keeps of course. Getting We've been descending for a while now. These tunnels are deeper than I thought. What could be down here? Is Zelda's voice a little weird, right? <laughs> it's a little weird, but I'll get used to it. I cannot wait for this game. Am I going to be moving? Oh, I am. I got 20 hearts. How many hearts do I have? Beneath Hyrule Castle. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. i seen gameplay on this game. I did not hop into any spoilers. I did see the map. That might be, like, my only spoiler. That's why I know, like, this, this game is enormous. But, yeah, I stayed away from story spoilers, all that good stuff. I don't really know much about the game. But I'm absolutely stoked for this game. Like, I, I'll, off screen, I'll probably be grinding for, like, 12 hours a day. Probably 25 hours a day, if that's possible. After coming into contact with the gloom drifting through these caverns... Though here it seems almost misty and not concentrated enough to harm us. We'll keep going with it coming up from beneath Hyrule Castle. We do not know what waits below, so we need to be ready for anything. But I know I'll be okay with you, Link. Let's go solve this mystery. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm beyond excited, man. Beneath Hyrule Castle. So this game actually serves as a sequel to Breath of the Wild. So if you guys haven't played Breath of the Wild, a little bit of spoilers at the end, you defeat Calamity Ganon. You defeat Ganon pretty much in every single Zelda game. But from here, I don't know who the final boss is or who you're facing off because it looked like a different possessed enemy. So this game is based off of like what happens afterwards. And it looks like there's a totally new character or like boss but i actually want to do something real quick i want to go into my options and i want to change my sensitivity to high can i do that camera sensitivity right here to high no not very high we went just high so now i can actually move around a bit better and all that good stuff link why wouldn't you just throw another cutscene i like the cutscenes i like how they add voice actors and all that into this game makes it 10 times better the master sword i got the yo i got the master sword already it's sensing something don't tell me I start off with the Master Sword. That'd be wild. Because, like, in most Zelda games, you're, like, running around. You're, like, trying to get that Master Sword. But as we move deeper, the Master Sword is sensing something. Let's get in there. Oh, I can swing a sword. Oh! I got the Master Sword, baby. I love it. Can I still do my flips and stuff? No, you can't do the flips and stuff yet. Oh, yeah, I can. I was hitting the wrong button. I haven't played Breath of the Wild in a little bit. So, still got to relearn the controls. But once I get used to it, it's going to be like riding a bike. I'm going to be able to crush it. Dude, it looks so good. Link, look here. What do we got? Got a little, like, column here? 
with an eye in it, right? That looks like the Sheikah eye. These are ruins from the ancient civilization. Wait, something is written here. Might these ruins be from the Zona? So I'm not going to be reading like everything in the game, only like little things, because again, if you're going to read the whole thing, I, I will read all my own time, but like for, for a playthrough, you guys are here for, for the content, you know, you're here to listen to me, enjoy some play gameplay, but that's what's going to be so good about this game and this playthrough is everybody's playthrough is going to be different because this game is so vast and it's so open world. I could take a different path than any other content creator, they could take a different path, and there's just so much to do. But Zelda's over here taking pictures of this stuff, and we're just going to keep moving forward. Oh, dude, it looks so good. It looks so good. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let's just keep heading down this little cave. There's statues there. What are they? What are they, Princess Zelda? The Zona. Zonai? How do you pronounce that? I'll say Zonai. Zonai sounds fancy. It definitely sounds fancy. But let's keep moving down here. Let's see what's going on. But yeah, typically for this playthrough, I'm going to be trying to have like 45 minute episodes, maybe sometimes even an hour, hour and a half. I'd say 45 to an hour and a half max. But yo, we got some keys here. I can lock on. Let's go, keys. What's good? Slap up on him real quick. See, told you guys, my fighting skill went nowhere. You're not hurt, are you, Link? Dude, that looks so cool. I've always been a fan of just like the artwork from Legend of Zelda. It just looks amazing. Got little Baku blends on them. Histories of the royal family include stories of a great war fought long ago. It was a conflict between allied tribes and someone only ever referred to as the Demon King. Is it possible? Do these murals depict the same legend? <sighs> this is similar to the statues we saw earlier. A Zonai. Zonai, that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> this depiction certainly suggests that the Zonai descended from the heavens. said that my ancestors, the first of Hyrule's royal family, were born from a union with gods who had descended from the heavens. These murals tell a similar story, and if they are accurate, then the gods mentioned were the Zonai. They must have forged a relationship with the Hylians of that time, working together to establish the kingdom of Hyrule. Okay. This figure, he seems to be stealing something of incredible power from the young kingdom. This all aligns with what I've read during my studies. And then this, it shows the demon king. And a fierce battle against him. <clears throat> If the creature depicted here really does represent the Demon King, then... Oh. Incredible! This mural must be the Great War recorded in the Royal Histories! This is the Imprisoning War, and the events that led up to it! Link! This is a huge discovery! <laughs> All right then, now to use this invention of Pura's. I'm glad I didn't leave it behind. It's so easy to record. You point it and click. Oh. Oh, it looks like the rest of the murals are obscured. Oh. Just what is this place? Maybe we'll find more answers farther ahead. Link, let's keep moving deeper. I'm gonna be the first to say these cutscenes are phenomenal. I am loving these cutscenes. They're just 
putting you in depth into the story right off the rip, which I love. Definitely a better beginning than the first Breath of the Wild, which is awesome. But we got all these little, like, goop. Oh, are these ghosts? I don't know. It's just, like, a little mist in the goop from Ganon and stuff like that. But we're just going to move deeper into the depths of Hyrule or beneath Hyrule. And we're just going to keep seeing what's going on. But from what I saw, like, the beginning of the game, I did not see any of this. The only beginning of the game that I saw was, like, Link skydiving out of Hyrule or, like, out of the sky. Because everybody knows there's sky islands in this. And I did not see this. But, yo, this looks amazing. This looks insane. This game is going to be my favorite game ever. What is this place? What's log mean? Uh, pause, pretty much. So you can pretty much pause the story. Let's continue, Link. But we must be extremely careful. Okay, I got you. I got you, girl. Don't worry. Jeans is here. It's kind of crazy how they don't have a voice actor for Link, but it makes sense. They really don't want to, like, ruin its voice and just, like, kind of throw you a curveball. Wait, oh, this is where the original trailer stemmed from. We have a hand. Some sort of like gem? What is that? Looks like a Zora kind of thing, right? Symbol. My lord. Link. Was that the sword that seals the darkness? The blade that shatters so easily against my power cannot save you from me. That fragile sword, a link. Raru placed his faith in you, and that was all you could do. Raru, do you know our names? So at the end of Breath of the Wild, the castle goes to the sky. Well, that's what we see in the trailer. So again, this is taking place right after Breath of the Wild. So this is taking place after we defeated Calamity Ganon. So we were at full hearts. We were at 20 HP, pretty much showcasing like, okay, you are a full master link. Like you are full HP. And now that guy just breaks your master sword and takes away all your hearts and sends Hyrule Castle to the sky and hurts Link's arm. I cannot wait to figure out this whole story. But I think that's that enemy's name. It's Raru or I forget what he said, but I'm not sure if that's its name. And I'm not sure if that's a form of Ganon because it usually always comes back to Ganon. But I think this is a totally new boss, kind of like in Skyward Sword. But yo, what a way to get this game started. Big time cutscenes. Showcasing perfectly to why this is a sequel like everything is lined up perfectly I was wondering I was like yo, I have like full hearts kind of like how I finished breath of the wild But he took away all my hearts and took out the master sword Which is wild. but then that hand comes out and that hand kind of reminds me of Twilight Princess, right from uh I forget the the, the wolf the, the little hand that comes out the wolf Forget that little thing's name But look at his arm It's 
going on? Is that Link? He's going on Link. Oh, we got like a power arm. I'm asleep again. Cool. Let's get after. I think. I think now we're gonna get into the game. But for today's video, we're just gonna be doing like the main stuff, like the beginning stuff. I know there's like shrines and stuff, tutorials, all that good stuff. We're gonna be crushing that, and then after this video, we pretty much can just go open world, do whatever we want. Oh, Link, finally. You Who's this? I've heard a great deal about you from Zelda. Your wounds were severe. I am relieved to see you escape death. Your arm, however, was beyond saving. I had to replace it, lest the injury endanger you further. My sword. My sword. So whoever that was saved us pretty much because our arm was destroyed and it needed to be like amputated. Like it was just destroyed arm. So this, this, this person saved our arm, which is amazing. Again, we don't know the characters or anything yet. This is just the beginning of everything. But we pull our master and this thing is torn up. And now everything makes sense because when I was in the beginning, I was like, how do we get the master sword already? And how do we have like 30 hearts? But we get a decayed master sword starting off with that. Okay, can I swing it? Can I use it? Goes my back. Still looks sick. Looks sick. Wide attack. We already, you already taught me that. All right, let's get it. Can I destroy these little vines? I can. Crank them open, and now we're getting started here. What is this? Let me see this. Get a little examining going. A little bit of hand action. Dude, just, the, just like the artwork in this game is amazing. The graphics and how things just like pop up like that. The color scheme amazing it is amazing this game's i'm gonna tell you now it's game of the year it's game of the year i'm telling you right now i'm telling you right now no game's beating that and if something beats it this game got snubbed i'll tell you that i'll tell you that but this little turbine's gonna get moving and we probably probably have a puzzle we're gonna do a few shrines and stuff in today's video because i kind of know a little bit about the tutorial in the beginning but everything else pretty much cooking so is there anything in here can i go up to here so all i have right now is you this little turbine moving just water, and I don't think there's anything really for us to get, right? Caves are kind of hard for me to see when I'm recording because I turn my brightness down all the way on my monitor. Just so it doesn't have, like, lights flashing on me. So. There's that. There's that. So if I miss something in a cave, just just hit me in the comment section down below. But I'm going to end up jumping off here into the water. That was pretty cool. And I'm just going to keep moving forward. How do I swim again? Oh, it's just a jump button. You can swim. But I heard there's like a bunch of like improvements to this game, like quality of life improvements, which is really cool. I should be able to climb. Yep, I can climb. Hop up here. And we'll just keep going. And how do I run again? Is it this button? I gotta figure out how to run. How do I run? Do I hold down this? There it is. It's hold down B. I forgot how to run. So cool. We can run. We can also jump off here again and just keep moving down. I think it's just making us kind of like get used to the controls and all that. We're gonna keep moving, keep jumping. <laughs> looks tough landing in the water even from great height will prevent you from taking fall damage and yo the splashes in this game really cool really really cool now i'm gonna get up here and what we got here is this our firsty little first chest action i'm all about it what we got in here a little bit of leg wear a little bit of leg wear hopefully i didn't miss anything else so we get leg wear and i think we're good here I'm gonna keep moving forward. Did I miss other like did I miss other armor pieces? Please don't tell me I did. Is there a way to get back in there? I think I missed some stuff. But nah, I think I think you just get like where to get things started here. But you pretty much start off with no armor until I think later in the game. But oh my lord, we gotta jump off this. Let's do it. <laughs> Yo! Started me off right up in the sky and the music. Ah, oh, beautiful. 
Beautiful. What, what a way to get this game started. Yo, there's a dragon in the background. I love the dragons in the older game. There was three of them, but I guess that's a sky dragon. But I know we're still on the land of Hyrule. I think it's pretty much the same land, kind of. Just, like, different stuff going on. And then there's Skyland, and then there's more, but... I won't spoil. I won't spoil. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh! Oh, my God. This game is going to get 6 million hours of my time. The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So we're about 20 minutes into recording, 15, 20 minutes into recording. Like I said, I plan on going about 45 longer. I kind of want to try to get these shrines done and get grinding with them. So we're going to go down here and I can, I can accelerate by holding. Ooh, and we can just splash you right in the water. Let's go. Let's go. Can I get on these lily pads? I can. jump off and we can get grinding now let's go so we're at the great sky island can i open my map and stuff like that so we have this here's my weapons my settings all that good stuff and i'm pretty sure you can switch swords like that yeah all that good stuff so it's like the old stuff but i wonder if we can open up a map i don't think we can no we cannot so i got my sword out here i hear a few things i got a nice little tree branch that's actually stronger than my sword which is kind of funny it's kind of funny it's stronger than my sword. That's how bad my master sword is right now. And do we have anything else we can collect in here? So I'm a collector, man. I'll run around for days and just like get stuff. Oh, look at this. We got a shroom. A sky shroom. Nice little sky shroom action. And wh who are you? You an enemy? What's good? Oh, you hit me? I want to try to do like a flurry attack. It'd be pretty cool. Come on, swing at me. Swing at me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So all the mechanics, attacking mechanics, are in this game, which is pretty cool. It's actually really cool. Did I not KO you? Are you kidding me? Let me switch to my Master Sword. Did I KO you with this? Cool. I KO it last shot. Oh, no, I didn't. Come here. Now you're dead. Now you're dead. Let me actually switch my Master Sword. I believe if that thing breaks, it kind of just recharges. But we get a Soldier Construct Horn, and we get a Zonai Charge. Cool, cool. So, materials are going to be our best friends. We're going to be looking for materials all day long. All day long. So, from here, I can't even look at the map, which kind of sucks, right? I'm just going to go right. I'm just going to go right. Actually, I'm going to see what's over here on this left side. Because there's like a little, like, shrine-ish area. Not like a normal shrine, but like a little canopy kind of thing. And what is that? Is that a chest? What is it? What do we got here? Oh, we got a wooden stick. I'll take a wooden stick. And what we got here? What is this? It's just a little place. All right, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. So I'm going to head over to this side. Dun, 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 and keep looking for stuff. So we got some weapons. I do have some items. I did take a little bit of damage, which kind of hurts soul, but always looking for always looking for materials. What we got here? We got anything new? Anything for jeans? We got another tree branch. I'll collect all the tree branches I can right now, considering like tree branches are going to be your best friend. So I'm going to go here, and what is this? This looks like a bridge, right? This looks like a bridge that I cannot get across yet, right? Yeah, no shot. Okay, so where do we go from here? Can I jump off another section? Is there a lower section? There is not. There is not. So that's where we came from. And we could probably go this way, right? Yeah. This looks like it opens up a bit. We'll go sky shrooms. We'll keep collecting and we'll keep moving forward. Actually, no, it doesn't open. I'm just looking around. I'm just, I'm just amazed by this. Let's get up here. I can climb and stuff. Let's take this. Let's take this. And how do I like get to the next section? How does one get to the next section? Nothing down there. I wish I had a glider. I must have missed something. Did I miss something? Can I talk to this thing? Oh, I can examine this. Okay, cool. So what we got here? This. Oh, what is this thing? This thing is cool. That looks like a helmet, and then it does this? Okay, so the hands and that, that green glowy thing is big in this game. It's definitely big in this game. Oh, who are you, kind sir? Steward Construct. Steward, we'll call him. Princess Zelda left something for you in my care. What are you giving me? <gasps> a Pura Pad. Cool. So it was a Sheikah Slate in the last game. Sheikah Slate was like, you could do your map, all that good stuff. This time, it is a Pura Pad, so... This is where I get my map at. This is how I can map. I can take pictures. I can... What is it? Plot stuff on the map. All that good stuff. Pin stuff. 
it's gonna be awesome. So there it is, our Pura Pad. I kind of still want to call it the Sheikah Slate because Sheikah Slate sounds cooler. But Pura Pad it is. So we can open it up here, and it gives us this sky map. So this is where we are at. Oh, no, that's where we need to go. We are right here. We have to go find Princess Zelda. Okay. So, yeah, Zelda fell through that, uh, like, that. So I don't even know where she's at. We're in the Garden of Time. We have to head over there. The Temple of Time is visible from here. It was used in the distant past. Many rites and ceremonies of the kingdom were held there. Cool. So the Temple of Time makes return again in Legend of Zelda. Lovely. Love the Temple of Time. And we get this thing. And I don't... This, this hand thing's just like for examining. But I feel like there's more to it. So find Princess Zelda. Let's examine this and see what's cooking with this. Is it going to put me across the bridge? I love it forever. Oh, yeah. Bridge is back. So we got a nice little bridge here. And we'll make our way across. Yo, the skylines are sick. Like, there's a waterfall on that right side. Looking tough. Looking tough. So we're going to make our way across this way. And we'll go see what's going on here. So my boy, Stuart, it is. Hello, Stuart. How you doing? Let me talk to you. There's a wooden thing on the table, so I'm with it. So he's talking about the soldier constructs. Okay. I feel you. Pressing on, so he's teaching us how to lock on. So, again, we're going through a little bit of like tutorial stuff. I'm gonna grab this. Can I actually break these and see what's in there? I can. So, we get a nice little apple. Ooh, a little bit of fruit action. Can't go wrong with the fruit. And my stick breaks. That is terrible. And you know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna see what happens when we take out our master sword. I was running low on energy. So, it does have energy like the other ones. And can I use it on tree? I can and make these apples full. So, sword's gonna take some time. I am just gonna bring back out my tree branch. And we're gonna get cooking. So he's over here, I don't even know, messing around, doing his thing, and we're just looking for stuff. We're collecting apples right now. We got here. Here's a here's one of these. Okay, so we get a nice little zone eye charge. And can I go here? This looks like a jump point, right? It is jump point. I'm out of here. <laughs> Let's go. I love jumping off in here. Oh yo, we got frogs. I want the frog. Come here, frog. Get up, Link. Give me the frog. Where'd he go? Oh, frog's gone. Frogs are gone, so we hop down here, and dude, just so much to explore. And we're just gonna keep following like the main path. That's exactly what we're doing. I heard something. What I hear? I heard you. Come on, boy, get down here. You want the sauce? Oh, yo, spin attack. So my tree branch is badly damaged. I'm still gonna kill, it, kill this thing. And I'm just gonna switch over to my another stick. I guess I'll break the stick. Oh, I can't see nothing. There we go. KO him. Take his wooden stick. And we'll get his materials, which is tough. So we get his materials. We're still walking around with this stick. And everything's really foggy here. I don't like the fog. I don't like the fog at all. So we'll keep moving. I do want to look at my... My Pura pad right here. And I guess we're just going straight to the Temple of Time, right? Straight ahead. Let's go. Let's keep moving. Let's keep on moving. We got some more Sky Shrooms. We'll keep going on our way. Got any more items? Oh, we got two little enemies here. Yo, what's good, yo? You guys want the smoke? You guys want the smoke? Do a jump attack there. Yo, jump attacks are sick. And actually, let me uh switch my weapon. He's about to hit me. Oh, there's three? Yo! Hold up. Take out you. Cool. Do a jump attack on you. Oh, now the one's hit me. Take out you. Come on, boy. Come on. Oh, yo, he's piecing me. You know, let's just jump attack him. Oh, dude, he's hit me hard. Uh, let me actually go into my items and eat up a few apples. Oh, wait. Let me eat up a few. Actually, I got some more sky shrooms. I think, I think we'll be good on that. There you go. Get on out of here. Okay, so we piece him up. We get a long stick, yo. So, these are our first enemies. Do you got any more items over here? I'm trying to pick up all the weapons I can, because sticks break very easily. And can I pick up you? I can. So, sticks break very easily, so I'm trying to pick up as many as I can, and collect, like, some sky shrooms and stuff along the way. So, we'll go here. I do want to actually heal up a little bit more, so I'm going to eat a few apples. So I'll eat two apples. Okay, so. Now we're good. We're just going to keep cooking towards the Temple of Time, which is straight this way. Um, is there anything over here? 
maybe just like a few materials, but nothing crazy. I'm pretty sure there's nothing crazy in the, like the beginning areas. There probably is, and we can always backtrack if need be. But for now, I just want to move on with the story, and I want to get into it. I want to start doing these shrines, especially for recording purposes. I've been recording for like a half an hour already. <laughs> so part one might be an hour. Is this my boy Stuart? It is my boy Stuart. And we got some toasty shrooms. So he roasted that. So he's going to teach us about roasting and stuff. So what you can do is you can put stuff near the fire and... For food purposes, if they roast, they actually double in potency. So, say an apple gives you half health. If you toast it, it will take that half into one-fourth, and then it will turn it into a three-fourths health. So, I'll actually give you guys an example. So, I'll take these sky shrooms, and I will actually uh, hold, I'll hold three of them. And then we'll turn the game, and look, I could just drop them right here. So, when I drop them, they're going to be near the fire to start smoking. And when they do, like, a little poof... You can pick them back up. They're toasted. So you toast it, toast it, and toast it. So now with them toasted, they give you more HP, which is awesome. Really, really cool. I'm going to pick up the Sky Shroom, and I'm going to get moving. Oh, we got more weapons here. Cool. More tree branches that I need. <laughs> Just stack up on the tree branches. So we finally make our way over here. So this will be the Temple of Time, which I should be able to swim over. And the stamina bar is actually pretty good in this game. Like swimming, you don't take up as much stamina as normal. So here is the Temple of Time, which we have to make our way towards. And I'm just going to keep climbing. Get up there, Link. That a boy, that a boy, Link. So get up here. Do a little jump. Get climbing. And if you hit the jump button again, you will uh, actually use a little bit more stamina. Well, you have a shield, but do like a bigger jump. Come on, boy. Oh, I should do a backflip there. Get up, Link. Come on. Lower your guard. Oh, he's doing like a spin attack. I don't like that. Ew! Stop! There you go. Get on out of here. The jump attack's nice, and we get a rusty broadsword. Woo, baby. So I can actually throw weapons, yeah. I remember that. And we get a share first shield. So cool. So we get an old wooden shield, and we can press ZL to actually hold it, which is cool. So we get that, and we have a rusted sword now. But I'll teach you guys. I'll show you guys how to throw swords in a second. It's just RB like this, and then you just let go. But I hit B to cancel. But I'm pulling back out my sword. We made it to the Temple of Time. Let's examine this and see where this goes. Dude. I cannot, I simply cannot wait to grind this game. I really cannot wait. It's gonna be incredible. Let's see, a little crossing. I'm curious about the hand. I wanna learn the, 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 the uh, backstory about it. Only with sufficient power. Only with sufficient power. I did not intend to startle you. This is who it is. Cool. That arm originally belonged to me. I am Raru. This is Raru. Okay, Raru is here. Source of the right arm. <laughs> That's its title. Source of the right arm. Raru looks sick. Raru, brand new character. For appearing to you in this manner. Unfortunately, I no longer have a physical form. In any case, that arm should allow you to open this door. Seems to have lost the power to do so. You might be able to restore it, but you would need to enter a place filled with sacred light. Ah, of course. Why not visit the shrines on this island? The shrines, the shrines. Oh, exactly where I wanted to get to today. The shrines, baby. The shrines. Yes, I'm sure they are the key. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, we're ready to go attack on some shrines. We cannot open the door until we do so, but as you guys remember, in the last game... Wait, hold up, let me do this. So, this is going to be the closed door quest. Can I go over to it? Yep, and the closed door. So, cool. I'm just going to tag that. And we're going to have to make our way to the shrine. I believe if we hit, like, there's a button we can hit to bring out, bring out, like, our map where we can, like, look. I don't think we can actually do that yet, but I want to ping that. I didn't want to ping that, but that's going to be the first one we go to. But as you guys know, I think for this game, it's actually going to work like that. Let me actually heal up a little bit. Where's my toasty shrooms at? There they are. Let's eat two of these. But in the last game, oh, can I... Oh, fall damage. That hurts soul. 
Is there a different way to go down? Yeah, I should have hopped on the other path, but it's all good. But for the most part, in the last game, when you did shrines, you got these little orbs, and the orbs would, what's it called? They would allow you to upgrade your heart and all that good stuff, and your stamina, and make you just a better, like, it makes you stronger all around. So we're gonna head to the shrine, and I believe these shrines right here are gonna give us abilities, which is gonna be pretty cool. So I'm gonna take that thing out, I'm gonna pick up, he dropped a new item, which I didn't get a chance to see what it was. Where's your item at? He dropped an item. And it had question marks on it. And it's kind of annoying me that I can't find it. But it's whatever. I'm going to put on these wooden... These wooden... or No, I don't want to use long stick. These wooden sticks are actually working pretty good. So I'm just going to keep going. And that's where I want to get to. Is right there. So I believe it is this way. Let's go. So for the most part, the shrines are just going to give you like extra stuff. Or not extra stuff. They give you like chests. And they'll give you orbs. But for these, I think they're going to be abilities. Kind of like in the last game. How they gave us abilities early on in the beginning. Cool. See you later. And let me pick up your stuff and things. And I heard arrows are very plentiful in this game. As in the last game, you really had to, like, grind for your arrows. But I heard in this game you could find a ton. And it's kind of showing because uh, we already found a good amount of arrows. <laughs> we just found 10, like, laying on the ground. Um, How do I get there? There's a shroom there. Oh, I can climb. I forgot. I forgot. You could just climb anywhere in this game. So I'm just going to keep climbing this way. I'm going to get these rush rooms just for other materials. And I'm just going to let go here. And we're going to get moving. So do we have anything over here? I don't think I can get there yet, so I'm just going to keep heading to this top because I really want to do this shrine. I'm going to hop up on this wall, do a little long jump, and we make it to the Yuko shrine. Yuko? I don't know how to pronounce it. I love the names. I cannot wait to, like, like, I read up on this stuff. Like, I cannot wait to, like, sit down and, like, read up on all the shrines, all the Legend of Zelda, like, lore and stuff. Like, I'm a, I'm a diehard Legend of Zelda fan. I absolutely love it. So, we triggered a shrine. Awesome. I hope you guys are enjoying the, the, the jeans content. If you guys made it this far, leave a like on today's video. If you're not subscribed, click that bigger subscribe button. We got tons of new content coming you guys' way. But we unlocked a shrine. And the way how this game is like vastly different yet the same as Breath of the Wild is insane. It's insane. But our first shrine here, tips and tricks. Check the screen. I don't care about tips and tricks. And that actually loaded quick. The other ones used to load like pretty long. So we make our way to our first shrine. And I kind of want to heal up. And there's a boy, Raru. What up, my man? How you doing? So supposedly this arm has power though. And I'm kind of thinking it works like the Sheikah Slate. Like it, it's the abilities, right? Because the Sheikah Slate we used to use for like the bomb ability and like the freeze ability and all that. I feel like this hand is the abilities. Or it gives us the abilities. And let's see what we just, I feel like we learned something, right? That's one of the abilities. Let's see. Yep. Ultra hand. Grab move objects, rotate them, and stick them together to other objects. Okay, cool. So again, I was right there. It is going to be your abilities. So these shrines are all about giving you abilities and teaching you them before they send you out like into the free world. So I can actually use ability like that. Ooh, okay. How do I grab this? I can grab that like that and I can rotate it. How do I rotate? All right, so vertical rotation. Okay, I can pull it like that. And I guess I can just hit A or how do I get out of this? Cancel it, just cancel it. Okay. Okay, anything down there? All right, I feel you. So cool. I said, now this one's long and it said, okay, there's a chest up there, but it said we can stick things together. So I think we're going to need this. And how do you stick them together? Attach. Or can I just make this one longer? Oh, we attached it like goo goes on it. And now I can hit this and I can pick them both up. Oh, there was another slab there. So how do I move it like that way? All right, so I can move it this way. And there we go. We can be cancel that. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We thrive in. And there's there's a chest up there. So I'm going to actually take this. Grab this. And how do I... So move forward and move back. But there should be a way to rotate it. I guess just spinning myself. Let me move back this way. Put it up here. And can I just cancel with B? And run out the way? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's go, solving, solving puzzles like it's my job. Like it's my job. We get some amber, so cool. We don't have the paraglider yet though, which is kind of upsetting. I want the paraglider and I should actually eat food. Let me eat both these. Just go back to some health. So I think every single shrine has at least one chest in it, right? Some of them have two. I'm gonna make our way over here. And this looks like another puzzle. So we have a hook there and we have 
little bridge and this looks like a rail right yeah okay so i'm kind of seeing this right so let me go here what's this ball for so maybe i can like go here and i guess just attach that like that and then go here and how do i flatten this out how do i rotate it oh hold the rotate Okay, there, here we go. There we go. And now I can kind of just put this on that and can I hop on it? <laughs> hey, let's go. Yeah, dude, this game is insane. This game is going to be endless. I did see another ability. It is a fuse ability. Can this thing go? Ah, oh, shoot. How come this thing's not going? How oh, should I put it here? Is it going now? Oh yeah, we got it. Okay, cool. But I did see the fuse ability, which looks really cool. You that that seems endless, where you can just like fuse any item and weapon together and stuff like that. So that seems like it's gonna be really dope. But there we go. Finish our first shrine. Solve the puzzles pretty well, and did we get the orbs? You've done well to reach this place. Thank you. I appreciate it. You give me a little orb. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. I love this game. <laughs> this game's gonna be awesome. And a little orb. I forgot what the orbs were called in the last game. I really do. And there it is. A little orb. These do look a, a bit different. Let's see what they're called. Is it gonna be four again? Oh, what, what are you doing? Oh, I don't think these are orbs. I think they're just... Oh, yep, light of blessing. A crystal that glows with light that purges ancient evil and purifies with its radiance. So, we got these little light orbs. Cool, dope. I'm all about it. May the light of the blessing grant you the strength you seek. So we're gonna have a few more shrines left. We're definitely gonna try to bang them out in today's video. I don't know how many there are. If there's four, I'll try to get them all done. If there's more than that, maybe we'll save it for part two. But again, probably like 100 parts for this playthrough. We're going to be here for a while. <laughs> We're going to be here for a while. So we have one shrine done. I heard there's 152 shrines in this game compared to 120 in the last one. That's pretty cool. So more shrines. Oh. Got my boy. He's saying there's more shrines. You may want to mark the shrines in the distance with pins. to never lose track. How do I use that? That's what I was curious about. I totally forget. I forgot how to use it. Oh, it's, I think it's right stick in actually. Yeah, there it is. It is right stick in. So I can see some shrines out in the distance. I am going to ping them, which is awesome. You can just ping them with A. And that leaves me spots where I know to go to. So if I see another shrine somewhere, I do want to ping it. Yep, up there. And there might be one more. So I got one, two, and... Is there one over there? No, that just looks weird, right? That might be a shrine. We're going to head over there first. I feel like that has to be a shrine. I don't have my glider, which kind of sucks. Um, there is a rail over here, but I want to go back to this thing over here because now I have my abilities and I can attach things. Can I like pull you up? No, I didn't mean to attach. How do I unattach? Can I unattach things? Let's make it across. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Let me make our way across here. We got more items. Can I just like move these things out the way? Like, is there something under this? I'm confused why you give me a bunch of boards. I mean, I can head down here now. But I think it's just an extra pathway. So I'm going to head down here. And is there another shrine over this way? I know I have two pinged, but I'm just going to keep moving towards the shrines. We have a campfire. We have... Is this my boy? Yeah, this is my boy right here. How you doing? It's Robert right here. See that you're still at work, so he's just telling me to get get back after it. I understand. So I think I need... I think there's going to be four shrines. But here's a little fire pit if I need it. Um, there's my boy Stuart. Stone axe, which is cool. And we found some wood, which is good. So wood can be used to light fires. We can stone axe to chop down some trees. But from here... How do we get across here? Is there anything I can like build? What is this? Oh no, I didn't want to do that. 
I'm gonna actually take this. Can I connect a log to something? Is there another log? There are plenty of logs. Let me connect. Let me connect the logs. Let me connect the logs. How about that? Attach the logs. Bring this back out. <laughs> We're just gonna bring it. So we we can just do what we want. Do as we please. No, bro. I fell off. That's ridiculous. All right. Let's try it again. We're gonna grab you. We're gonna move you to here. Should connect. You don't connect. Of course you don't connect. Attach them. And now we can pick it up again. It is one full log. We shall take it and create a bridge. Well, let me rotate this. Oh, no. Wrong button. Uh, rotate. I'm gonna rotate it this way. Making it to the other side. Uh, can I push it out more? Oh, baby. Get up there, Link. Oh, <laughs> let's go. I'm the best, yo. <laughs> Come on, man. That's too easy. Alright, so there's a path that way. I don't think we can get there yet. Unless, can I build something here? I guess I can grab that. Did it attach? Cool. Cool. I think that's what I was supposed to do on the other side, but I just did that instead. I'll take this. I don't think there's a shrine back here, but I see a chest near, which I really, really want. And I'm gonna grab it. So we get this beautiful chest, amber. Cool. Dope. More crafting materials, and we'll see what else is over here. What we got over here? Nothing. We got nothing over here. Let's keep moving. So I have shrines marked on my map. Am I close to any of them? I guess we'll head to this one. That seems like the best one, right? Best bet. Seems like my best bet. And I don't think we're going to be completing all the shrines today. I think we might do one more and actually call it a video. And then save everything for part two. Alright, cool. So we're going to head up. I look at my map. We're going to be heading up towards the print. How come I can't see it in the sky? I can see it on my map. Actually, I'm going to take this off. And we'll keep moving. The steward's just everywhere that I am, which is cool. Uh, what you got? Ten arrows. Oh, and a bow! And a bow! Cool. So I finally get my first bow. I absolutely love a bow and arrow. I can actually zoom in with that, which is sick. And we shall get moving. Oh, look at you guys. Oh! Chill! Let me shoot you! Let me crouch. Where'd it go? Dude just ripped me <laughs> for no reason. Right, how do I get up there? Seems like there's a pathway this way, so I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna hit my swim. Oh, there's a, there's a, there's a little there's a bird. Let me get it. I didn't kill it. Are you kidding me? Good thing I'm expert. Oh, I missed. <laughs> All right, so he's gone. We'll get him later. We'll get him another time. And what we got here is that my boy Stu again. Yo, Stu's always hanging out here. And yo, we can actually cook here with Stu. If I want to make some meals. I can actually cook. So Stu's just cooking there. You ever see like a a fire with like a little pot in there? It means you can cook. You can just throw items in there and create recipes, which is really, really cool. So my boy's back over here. I see some other materials, which I want to grab. And I'm going to keep heading towards this shrine, which is all the way out here. So let's keep going. Let me check the maps. We're getting pretty close. Stamina wheel runs out. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, the, the bird's back. Bird's back. I'm not worried about it. I'm actually not worried about that. I'm going to go right to that shrine. Oh, there's a ton of them. All right, you know what? Screw it. We're going to fight a few. Come on, man. Oh, he blocked me with a shield. Oh, yeah. Look at that dodge. A wood stick's gonna break. Someone's shooting arrows at me, which is kind of wild, right? Not a fan of it. Who's shooting arrows at me? I see someone shooting arrows at me. It's you. Oh, yeah. Crit shot. Two times damage. We love it. Nice. Oh, and I kill him on. I get a chest. Cool. So kind of like the old uh, Baku Blin, like battles, you kill a few, and you take out all the enemies, you will get rewarded with the chest. So that's cool. So we just absolutely ripping into that thing. I love bow and arrows. That was actually a really cool fight. And we're going to grab this chest, which is probably going to give me a bow. I'm not even going to lie. No, it gives me opal. I like to get weapons instead of stuff like that, but you know what? It's fine. But from here, I can actually take down these boxes, and actually, I can't destroy that. Kind of sucks. Actually, mm, 
I was gonna say, usually you can just destroy the boxes and there'll be stuff in there. But for now, it's fine. But as you can see, I could hop down or I could take the path and I kind of just want to hop down. You can actually climb down. There we go. And I'll just hop from there. Cool. So there's a path on the other side that I could have took with like a railing and all that. But this seems to be the way. And what is that? Is that a paddle? That's a wood stick. So I hear more enemies. No, it's a stone two-handed axe. So with this stone two-handed axe, I actually want to show you guys something cool. Oh, yo, we got some chew jellies. I actually want to defeat them. They don't really do much, but they'll give you chew jelly, which is good for recipes. So cool. Chew chew jelly. There's different colors of them too. But what I want to show you guys is with the wood axe, you can actually use them to chop down trees. And once you chop down a tree, I'll be, what is that? A reckless cricket. Cool. But once you chop down a tree, you can get some wood and stuff. And I got a Kurok fraud. That's pretty cool. So you can use them to chop down trees and all that good stuff, but we have to find our way over there. That kind of looks annoying. Wasn't there like a sail here? I feel like I had to create a boat. How do I create a boat? I need kind of like a flat surface, right? Or I could stick a bunch of logs together. Oh, yes, I could stick a bunch of logs together. That seems to play. That seems to play, right? That sounds cool. Sticking a bunch of logs together and then going there. I'm just reckless cricket. So can I attach multiple things? And I'm going to try it right now. I'm gonna grab you. I'm gonna attach you to the left side of this thing. Attach. Oh, yes. Now, can I attach you to make a bigger one? No, not to the tree branch. What? <laughs> not to the tree branch. And we'll use one more. Dude, this ability is insane. Like, the possibilities are endless. And now we will take this. And rotate it. Uh, how do I rotate it to the other side? I just want to rotate it around. 360 it. Alright, that, that looks awful. Let's restart. Hey, okay, that's actually a good start point there. Now I got it here. Now I can rotate it down. Alright, this rotation is a little weird. How do I rotate this thing? I don't have it straight up. You know, let's drop this one. Let's try it with this one. Alright, I mean, this might work. That might work. Now I can pick it all up at once, place it in the water. And then let the current maybe take us. Yeah, there's wind here. Oh my lord. Mwah. Beautiful building ski uh beautiful building skills jeans. Look at that. Oh, who's shooting at me? Who wants it? Who's shooting at me? Someone's throwing something at me. Oh, it's you. I missed him. He's deep. He's deep deep. I just missed him again. It's all good. I'm not going to waste my arrow, but we're smooth sailing from here. Smooth sailing. Maybe should have placed two of these things on here. Pick up some more speed because now we're just tailing left. But all I have to do is make it close enough there. Oh, there's a bird. Poor bird. Oh, I want that chicken leg. I do want it. Can I scoop it? I got to swim the rest of the way. I'm going for it. Give me that. Raw bird drumstick. So we're starting to get some actual food too, which is really good for us. Which is really good for us. But yeah, I'm going to finish up this shrine up here. And I'm going to call it a video because this one's been about an hour. And then in the next video, we can finish up the other shrines and get get started with the open world aspect. Probably get the paraglider. Because I know the paragliders are in this game. But from here, I'm just going to run up here. I'm going to get climbing. It's going to be sweet. And here we are. The In Issa Shrine. In Issa Shrine. However you pronounce it. I'm seeing if there's anything over here that I can pick up. Get any cool items? No. But something that you guys should know is uh, all these shrines and stuff, they they act as fast travel points. So once you go up to it and unlock it, like I, not this, but once you kind of like see like the the, uh, the cutscene of like what the name is of the shrine, you unlock it for a fast travel point. So it's really cool. So I can always come back to these and uh, fast travel to them. So even if you don't feel like doing a shrine and you see a shrine, go up to it at least. So you can always just travel back and do it later. The second shrine and last part of the video, I wonder where we're going to get it. Hopefully this is a fuse one. I'm dying to use that. I really am. 
Let's go up tip. When you find an object or place near, I can't even read the tips because they're going too fast. But we're gonna skip this and we're gonna get after it. So my boy, Raru should come back out here. There he is, my man. Give me this arm. He's gonna give me a brand new ability. Come on, be the fuse. Let me fuse stuff. Let me fuse some goodies. I think that's fuse because that's a sword going to something. I think this is fuse. Fuse. Let's go. Attach something to an equipped weapon or shield to enhance it. You can undo this fusion, but it will destroy whatever has been attached to it. The fuse ability. So this fuses items and weapons together, enhancing them. So like, for example, if you have a, like a... Like a fire chili pepper you can attach to an arrow and it can fire an arrow real quick, which is really dope. But still, we are here. We have a nice little rusty claymore. Can't carry any melee weapons, so I'm actually going to go here and actually show you guys that you can drop stuff now just by going up to it and hitting X. So I'm going to get rid of... I'm going to get rid of all these. I'm going to get rid of both of them and grab the rusty claymore. So from here... I believe what I can do is bring out that rusty claymore and use my fuse ability and do this. Rusty claymore, uh, I want to fuse to my rusty claymore. And yes, with this, now I have a boulder sword, which can break stone walls. That is amazing. So we can head right or right, or <laughs> right or straight. And I'm going to head over this way. Let's see what's over here and look. Oh, all the peppers. A fire fruit. I guess we're going to have to attach this to something and get after it. And this is exactly what we're going to have to attach it to. A nice bow and arrow. So I actually want all the fruits. I'm all about, I'm, I'm material, bro. I'm a material guy. Give it all to me. Give every last material to me. So from here, I can aim in here. And I can select the materials to attach. And that's when I want to put it on the fire fruit. And where do I shoot it at? Right there. And I can get that chest. Cool. Oh, yo. <laughs> Telling you guys, this game's game of the year. No problem. No problem. It's game of the year. I'm going to grab this. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And I get a small key. And I have a nice little key to unlock the doors. And we're going to go back. So I just have this rusty claimer with a boulder on it. <laughs> look how funny that looks. When I bring it out, it looks huge. Look at that thing. Running around, no problem. Oh, I can actually think I can break this. I can. Cool. We got anything? Oh, a chest. I didn't even see a chest up there. I just seen like the cracked, cracked kind of a uh, surface on the thing. A nice little bundle of arrows. We got anything else over here that I can take out? I can't take out you. Anything on you? It's a rock under here. Anything under the rock? Oh, I forgot. Your Koroks are in this game. Koroks are tough. I'm gonna find them all. Hopefully, the item is actually pretty good. There's nothing up there, so it's not even worth going up there. I mean, can I climb that? But probably not. So now I can head here. I can use the small key. And we can open a door. And do we finish this temple or is there another room? Temple. It's a shrine. I'm excited to see the boss fights, though. Because the boss fights were kind of lackluster in Breath of the Wild. So I didn't really like them too much. But here, hopefully they didn't make a mistake. They make our way to the final room, I'm guessing. And we have a little boss fight. Okay, I'm down for a boss fight. What do you have? Oh, you... You just fused. You want boulder on boulder? I'll show you boulder on boulder. You know, let's do this. Let's get things started here. Let's get things started here with this. Hit him with that. Hit him with a flurry rush. And that should pretty much KO him pretty good. Flurry rush hits hard. Another jump attack. Bang, see you later. Give me your con Ooh, a construct bow. So that's a new strong bow. Got a rock hammer. Always gonna drop other things. Captain construct horn. And I can actually just break this one right here. My boulder hammer is it's damaged pretty good. And should I burn this? Oh, that's what I should have done. I should have burned the floor with my fruits. And what do we got over here? What is that? Uh, it's nothing. Cool. So we did everything here. Now we can head to the end and finish off this shrine and finish off today's video. So cool, we're gonna get another another orb. We're gonna unlock another ability. We are buzzing out here. Absolutely buzzing. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. You've done well to reach this place. I think they just say the same thing every time. We just had to read it the first time. And give it to me. Thank you very much. A light of blessing. 
another one of those. I think every four. If it's if it's like Legend of Zelda, every four is gonna give us a uh, a uh, either a stamina heart or a stamina wheel. So cool. So this this beginning area is actually pretty good. Probably takes about two hours to finish up. But guys, that is gonna be it for me. We got Stuart Constructing to talk to us again. I know we have at least one more shrine. Probably two more shrines, I think. Unless there's more than that. But we're gonna be grinding them out in the next episode. Please take it. What do you got for me, Stuart? What is that? What is that? What is that? And why how come I can hold eight? Energy cell, a grip from the Zonai construct. Designed to warn on a belt, it can power Zonai devices. Oh. I mean, energy cell. And it looks like I can hold eight of those. So I can hold eight of them. However, I have associated on the other side of that cave system. They can teach you how to use this. So I have to go over to cave system. I hope that the energy cell I provided is useful for you. Okay, cool. So it gave me a nice, lovely energy cell. That we're going to use in the next episode. Because, again, let's see. Let's see what I have left. So we have this, which I believe is that one. I can see it from a mile away. Yeah, and do I see any other shrine? I think there should be one more. Right? I feel like there should be one more. Maybe it's in a cave. Or maybe I'm just missing it right now. Oh, yo, there's a dragon. That dragon's sick. And I think we already did that one. We already did that shrine over there. So we did two shrines. We came down. We did this one. And then we have that one all the way up there. Okay, cool. So that is going to be it for today's video. In the next episode, we're going to be finishing off the shrines. All that good stuff. Finish up the, tut the tutorial and going down to Hyrule. Because right now we're in the sky. We still have to go down to Hyrule and get this game started with the whole open world aspect. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.